Okay, I want to record a video today and it's going to be about how to use Notepad++ and create hyperlinks at the same time. One of the things that Notepad++ is really good for is creating hyperlinks and creating macros especially. And here's how we're going to do it. You've probably seen this kind of thing before. What I have on the screen here is a whole bunch of links. But no easy way for us to turn them into hyperlinks to use in Firefox. So what, there's two tools I'll need for this. One of them is Notepad++. The other one is Firefox using the multi-links plugin. We'll sh I'll show you as we're going through. So the first thing we have to do is we'll create a macro. Up in the toolbar here there's a record button. You start recording and then just before the first HTTP there you do a bracket a href equals and then your quote go to end with the end key on your keyboard a quote close the bracket type in whatever you want as your link and then open and close your anchor text so this is a normal link this link will work there's no problem with that another thing that I do is I add a break here of some kind so we'll just put a break in here and you'll see why in a few minutes fix my code and then the thing you have to do is go to the next line. So what I'm going to do is go down, go home, and now we're on the next line. So now I can stop recording the macro and I can test it just by running it. So I'll run the macro once. We'll see what happens. Oh, look at that. It created my link perfectly and then stopped at the next beginning of the next line. So I like that macro. I'm going to save it. There's a saving feature in here save current macro, I'm just going to call it uh, creating a link and I'm not going to create a shortcut for it. So I say OK and now I'll go to this next line and if I scroll through we can see that I have 56 lines I've used the first two. So I want to run this macro 54 times so all I have to do is say over here for the playback you'll see I run macro multiple times I click on it and I say, I don't know, run it 56 times. Or I can just say run to end of file. I'll just do run to end of file. So I hit run and should work. There we go. We've got a whole bunch of links. So the other thing that's wrong with this file is it, right now I have all of these links set up. Everything seems to be good. It missed one. So I'll just go down to the bottom and I'll have this run this one time hit run and it now that's a hyperlink so that's great now what I have to do is save the file so I'll change the co encoding of this the language itself is going to be HTML so that's language HTML and look at that all color coded now I'm going to right click on this file I'm going to save it as an HTML file so I'll just save it to my desktop links.html that's what I'm going to call it I save it and now all I have to do to run this to see it is I'll go to run launch in Firefox and I should have a Firefox window open up with this file in it So you'll see I have all these links here in this file. I have all the links and you remember I put that break so what happens is all of these links here are on separate lines. If I wouldn't have put the break in there they would have all been in a single line across. Now what I have here is I have a file a extension called multi-links. If I right click on this you'll see that there's options, instructions. If I click on it once it doesn't have the red outline which means it's disabled. If I click on it once it's enabled you can find this multi-links in the extensions for Firefox. So I have to do is tools to add-ons and in the add-on manager uh, get add-ons and you can just type in multi-links. So the multi-links is really easy to get and it works well. You'll see how I use it here. All I have is I have these links I right click with my mouse and drag over them and you'll see it creates red boxes and when I let go it creates them all in separate in these separate tabs here. And some of them can't be found because they're invalid now. 
So that's all you have to do to create them. So all you have to do again, use your Notepad++ with the macros. And once you create that macro, you can use it anytime again. If I want to run that macro sometime, I can say run and uh, and run a macro. So that's kind of the nice thing about about this is that we can run macros anytime that we want. Okay, so now that we've created this macro and uh, and you can open up all those links, hopefully this will help you out. If you have any questions, please let me know.